Hello everyone. In today's Explain My series, we are going to understand the superb concept. I will say why the calcium deficiency is not produce clotting defects. Whenever you read the clotting pathway, be it intrinsic pathway or the extrinsic pathway, most of the places here and there we will be putting the calcium Ca2 plus Ca2 plus Ca2 plus. It means that calcium is facilitating the clotting factor or the clotting mechanism. But here the question is. The calcium deficiency is not generally producing a clotting factor defect. So how is this possible? Let's try to understand. The calcium that is required for the clotting mechanism is very 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 minimal. So the amount that is required for this clotting process is very very minimal. Suppose let's take, let's take an example like the clotting normal levels are 10 mg per deciliter. So I am giving approximate values 10 and but Let's consider the amount that is required for clotting is just 1 milligram per deciliter. It is very very minimal. So this amount of calcium will be always available in the body. So let's say you consider a condition wherein the calcium levels drops from this level and it finally reaches the 1. But before it reaches the 1, the patient would have already died. Why? Because at a level in between midway, the hypocalcemia hypocalcemia will cause a lot of other things that can literally kill the patient and already we know that whenever there is hypocalcemia there will be hyper excitability which will lead on to already two signs we know one is this this is called a scarpopedal spasm and another one is chostex sign these are two minor changes which will happen much much earlier and there is one severe hyperexcitability that can happen inside the larynx. So this hypocalcemia can cause laryngospasm. If larynx goes for a spasm, the person will die. So even before the clotting factor defect is produced by the calcium, it can have the ability to kill a person. So how does the clotting factor deficiency will happen in hypocalcemia? That is why a condition of bleeding due to this deficiency is not compatible with life. What does it mean? Much much before that the patient will have other serious side effects rather than having a clotting disadvantage. But can I use a calcium chelator to act as an anticoagulant? The answer is yes. Because when you take increased amounts of calcium chelators, what they are going to do? They are going to chelate all the cal calcium and they will act like an anticoagulant for a smaller tube. But in the body, it doesn't happen because of the reasons that I have quoted. The requirement is very, very, very minimal. Just remember that that is why it is not able to produce the clotting factor defects. I hope it's clear. Thank you for watching the video. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.